freaking awkward watching yourself cry and break down like I'm not a pretty crier it's like an ugly girl like, oh, my life is so you're getting a way too real view on me breaking down crashing and breaking down and trying to find my way back climbing my way out from a rut coming up with ways on how I can do it so you don't have to my name is Bonnetti and I make videos all about womanhood, self-love, mindset and all it takes to be on top of your game and we can all level up together and slay our lives. Hashtag girlboss style. Hey, right off the bat I want to ask you, do you have any good tips of getting out of a rut? Because I was, I was kind of deep. I was deep. I could have used a little advice. If you have any good advice on getting out of a rut and cheering yourself up, gathering motivation, comment down below. Um, I would love every single comment and thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. I'm glad that you enjoyed the first Girl Boss video, five tips on confidence. I'll link that down below as well. Enjoy this video. Pressure of social media is fucking real. It's real, you know, there's so much fucked up shit going on in our lives, and I'm fucking sick. We're captivating all our highlight reels, but we never, we never film it when we fucking break down. <laughs> I'm 24, I feel like I'm a woman, but there's this tiny bit, like, inside of me that still is a little girl. And the li little girl inside me, she needs a hug every once in a while. At least you're getting real footage. And when you're feeling bad, just cry it out. But you know, I feel like pushing my feelings and my sadness and my anxiety and my stress like under the carpet and that's so wrong. Like, that's the reason I've been burying, burying my, hiding my feelings. And that's the reason why I broke down today. Next day rolled around, I made it my mission to find positivity and happiness in my life. I was sick and tired of just wandering around in my sorrow by myself, so I'm gonna pick me up. Sort of an update regarding, you know, yesterday's meltdown and breakdown. Um, just, you know, I, I needed something to just cheer me up, like literally cheer me up, so... This is the new newcomer to my plant family. <laughs> I'm a plant mom, but yeah, definitely needed something to, you know, just a little pick me up after yesterday. And I did exactly what I said I would do. I took my blanket, I took my pillows, I, j I made this whole floor to the couch. I watched Gossip Girl, I ate chocolate, chocolate and I cried. And even though I look a mess, but I feel better because I feel like now I'm ready to rise. I'm ready to get out of that slump and that rut and I'm ready to hashtag slay. You know, the material that you just saw, it was like, it was real. And I'm, I'm proud of myself because I'm not wearing makeup now either. Like, it's not that big of a deal. We're all humans, no matter if, like, no matter how many fucking followers or likes or whatever you have, we're all human. We all go through shit, and I think it's just relatable, you know. And excuse me, where my husband's doing a little renovation, something, something to do with fucking speakers and shit, because apparently, you know, this car ain't bouncing, you know, like as, as the way he would want to. But anyways, yeah, let's go home and let's see where I'm gonna put this plant. But I feel very good because I feel like. This guy has such good, you know, energy in it, and I'm just gonna, maybe I'm gonna put it, put it to my desk so I can, you know, be confident. Like set an intention of confidence to this plan, so that every time I look at it, I just feel feel confident as hell, and all the, you know, the insecurities and stuff that I, you know, broke down about last night or yesterday will just disappear. Once I finally got home, I decided to shift my perspective on the situation entirely. And I came up with these tips that totally helped me to get out of a rut, and hopefully these tips will help you all too. I totally believe in setting intentions, and I set the intention of confidence to this new plant that I bought to cheer me up. So the first tip that I came up with 
is to connect with your inner child to find inspiration and motivation. It's been a long time since I had this much fun. This totally brought out the inner child in me and I felt amazing. I totally recommend everyone to swing, swing and swing because you can't be sad when you're swinging. I started the next day with a little self-love. I took a long, hot shower and did all the good stuff there. I did exfoliate my face, do a facial, dermablade, dermarol, dermaneedle, <laughs> and do all the good stuff, all the girly stuff. Focusing on a self-love task is actually a very mindful thing to do. I usually use acrylics, but this time I decided to paint my nails at home. I've been wearing long nails for for a long time and it's time for a break. And to be honest, I hate this, but I thought that because my nails are sh so short that I'm gonna do like a real natural color and millennial pink. What a surprise. Oh, I know that you go a task like painting your nails can be very relaxing and a mindful practice. Meditation doesn't have to be you sitting in a lotus position. You can meditate whilst doing a task that doesn't require any thinking. I would summarize tip number two in what I like to call getting back to the basics. And with that I mean literally getting back to the basics making sure you are nourished you're well well fed you're hydrated you're not uh, sleep deprived um you're taking care of your hygiene your hygiene has got to be on point that's that's one important and that's also a good indicator that something isn't right if you if you're the way you take care of your hygiene if it starts just decline it's a sign that everything is not okay so tip number two and that was all about self-love and that is so essential like I literally calendar block self-love time yeah you're gonna learn that I am um, I love to plan I love to use planners notebooks calendars digital, paper, everything. And if we think how many people burn out nowadays just because they hustle, 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 and they don't take time for themselves. So that's why, because I'm a workaholic, I could just work, 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 and work. That is why I honestly, I take, imagine this is my calendar, take my calendar, I freaking calendar block off time to have self-care and I understand that you are busy you have lives but you wouldn't have you wouldn't have a life you wouldn't be doing anything unless you're looking out for number one comment down below what is your favorite self-love task to do a little mood update before we move on to tip number three I feel way more calm way for way more in peace and alignment after honestly after getting back to basics cleaning my space and uh, just pampering myself I feel a whole lot better but now it's time to nurture something else than our physical bodies it's time to honestly reflect and reconnect with our purpose and what I mean with our purpose I mean, what is our why behind our why? Why do we do the things that we do? Why do we, for example, if we have a goal, why do we want to achieve that goal? Okay, maybe we want money because we want to buy things. Okay, why do you want to buy things? So that you can be more free. You can travel, you can be more free. Why do you want to be more free? You know, keep going deeper and deeper and deeper until you connect with your purpose. Something that I do is that I 
I come up with a sentence or a phrase or even just few words that automatically bring me back to my why. And at the moment, my words are create, share and inspire. I think that cultivates my purpose at the moment. I want to create, I want to share what I create and through that, through the creating process, I want to inspire myself and by sharing what I create, I want to inspire others. So it's like, I honestly do this for myself as much as as much as I do it for you guys. I hope you like this and if you do remember to give me a thumbs up and I'd love you love to have you in the little Von Netti squad so subscribe below and hit the bell icon because you want to get notified every time I post a video. Having those three words or having that mission statement is such, such a good thing to have because there will become times that you will not feel motivated, you will not feel inspired and those are the exact times when you need to refer back to your why. And as that's if you take only one tip away from this whole vlog slash girl boss video tip video, take this one. Know your why. Get so unbelievably clear on your why. Because that's, that's probably the most uh, impactful thing that I have in store for you in this video. But you want to stick out for the whole video because I got some awesome tips that I still haven't shared and they have helped me a lot. Y'all saw me crying and bawling at, at, at the beginning of this video and now I'm feeling seriously better. This tip is so important, but it's, it's also one of the hardest ones to do. It's to let go and to forgive. I have three good questions that you can ask yourself. First of all, what are your limiting beliefs? What are the thought patterns and habits that may be holding you back? No, I don't mean habits, but thought patterns. What's holding you back? Whatever it is, flip it around. Is there any pattern in why you end up in a rut? What makes you end up in a rut? Do you overwork yourself? Or what it is? What causes the rut? Be honest to yourself about what habits and thought patterns don't serve you any longer. What habits don't serve your purpose? Get rid of them, okay? Because you're holding yourself back. And all the package like baggage, extra baggage from the past is weighing your vibrations and your life down like a freaking rock. So let go of them, honestly. This is gonna be hard, but I highly suggest that you really think about this and these three questions. My final tip in getting out of a rut is to change up your environment. Like, I'm gonna give you a little overview. It's a mess because I'm changing up my office slash my vanity room because that gives you a little spark. It's like, you know the feeling when you get at New Year's? It's kind of like that. Give yourself a whole new vibe, make your whole space feel homey to you, make it look like you so you feel at home there because environment totally, totally affects our state of mind. I literally... I'm the reflection of my surroundings and I doubt that I'm the only one, honestly. You don't even have to buy any new things when you start redecorating, like, no, you don't. You can just, you know, change decorations around, change furniture around, just create a new vibe and find a new feng shui. It, it can honestly affect a lot on everything and when you combine all of these tips that I'm in generally talking about this video I'm still not sure like how I'm gonna feel or am I gonna come up with new tips but I kind of feel like I'm already out of the rut because first of all what the hell that hangers crazy <laughs> first of all I make jokes I'm laughing I'm feeling like myself again I'm not sad, so I think this whole vlog experiment was a victory. 
I hope you enjoyed seeing me embarrass myself in front of the whole world and the internet, but I showed you the crying bit because I want to be the blunt bitch. I want to be honest, and that's my life. Like, that's my life. I broke down, and I want to share it, not to get sympathy. I don't want none of that. Like, let's not even freaking go there, okay? But... I wanted to show that because I feel that no one else is showing that. Like, let's cut back to me in a few hours. I'm gonna sum up this whole little vlog. So at the end of the week, I have to summarize that I'm a whole new woman in the sense that I feel at peace. I feel a sense of calm The the permanent state of anxiety that I was in has just, has helped, like, gone away, gone away, and uh, I feel, I feel a lot better, so these tips are something that I think I'm gonna start incorporating to my life in general, because especially the reflecting part and the purpose setting or getting to know your why, that was a, that was an exercise that really actually, it kind of like unlocked lots of different doors that have been closed in my mind and took me to times and made me think of things that I'd rather not, but it is healthy to think about them so we can let go. These tips honestly worked. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all for now. Lots of kisses. Dream big. And slay.